Man, I have to talk about Jalen Brown again. I just made a video talking about him earlier, and now I'm talking about him again in this video. They played the Cleveland Cavaliers last night. Uh, Jalen Brown had 34 points, and Jason Tatum had 30 points. And that is the only thing I need to talk about real quick, because I want to talk about this duo real quick, this backcourt duo that is Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown. They're playing out their minds lately in the past five games they won on a five win streak they both have been averaging around 27 points this backcourt duo is very underrated in my opinion and this whole season that they are bro it's just, it's looking really really scary to see what's going on all they need is a center bro and and we're, we're ready for the playoffs we're ready to go for the finals that's just how i feel if they find a center it's out it's it's no question that we'll probably make the finals or compete for one or compete for championships that's just how i feel well uh, jalen brown and jason tatum will be playing out there minds lately and my opinion probably one of the most underrated um backcourt i don't know where to put them really in my opinion right now but they're very underrated right now in my opinion and we'll see what goes on because i just talked about jalen brown uh possibly being all-star but it's probably gonna be a tough out for him because i don't know how the eastern conference is gonna go with that having three all-stars uh, on the same team this year the only team that i think of that has that has done that in the past is the golden state warriors with kevin durant uh fucking you got you got uh you fucking Draymond Green at the count as an All Star as well. So you have four of them in the All Star game, I believe, at one point in time. So it's possible. It's possible. I don't know. I, there's probably more that I don't know of, but I know Jalen Brown and uh, Jason Tatum and possibly and, and also Kemba. But I feel like it's Kemba Walker and Jason Tatum that has the best chance of making an All Star game. If uh, J Jalen Brown does make it, I feel like he's going to be. Uh, on the bench playing some type of minutes during the all-star game but it's going to be uh, a pretty slim chance we'll see what happens because he's been out, out of his mind the past month he's been playing out of his mind and it's amazing to see this team's playing so collectively nice I just we definitely need a center and we'll see what goes on when I heard that there's a rumor that we're probably might well, as we're talking about the Cle Cleveland Cavaliers that we might get Tristan Thompson I feel like that's a good uh place to go with but i don't know man i really don't know if that's the right way to go i think we need something else man i don't know i have to think about that into a video but we need a center that can shoot threes stay stay in the perimeter post up be able to guard really um uh, joel Embiid or Giannis, because that's kind of where we're our weakness is at because they're they the Giannis and joel Embiid has been dominating us every series that we play them and that's kind of where we're it's where it's at with that we need a center we'll see what happens during the deadline and uh, we'll see if they get somebody. I'm hoping that's going to be a center. We'll see what happens. But I feel like Danny Age is definitely going to just step up and do something. But, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Comment down below what you guys would rank uh, the backcourt of this team, man. Uh, the Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown. What you guys think? What you guys think of them as well? I really would appreciate all the support. It really means a lot. Subscribe if you guys are new. Like this video. And, as always, this is Malance. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.